That's Christine W. She's a veteran Las Vegas performer, but her latest dance album, which was a chart-topping success, also put her on a sort of household name basis with Club Kids the World Over, which is kind of a strange combination. But one thing about her makes perfect sense. She's a former Miss America contestant who never gave up her love of pageantry. Is she typical of a Las Vegas act? Not even, not even close. Usually the Las Vegas acts that come here are retired singers and, you know, they're, they're just ordinary people, but she's just different, a lot different. I'm, yes, I'm definitely not Vegas. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm really surprised they haven't tried to run me out of town because I'm always doing stuff that's, you know, much more wild. <laughs> I came here out of high school. Everybody was singing New York, New York, or My Way, and the music scene was just, you know, the music just seemed to have died. I do my tunes, which I don't care if they know them or not, I just let them have it, you know, with both barrels. Christine W. is um, a sort of 21st century pop star in that she is a dance diva. She does everything. You just feel what you want to be. What you want to be. What you want to be. Oh, I... She signed to RCA, and I think there was an immediate fear. Oh my God, Vegas. Let's let's try and excise. Um, let's try and 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 uh, eliminate Vegas from the bio and. The, the history of Christine W. But hello, you cannot take the showgirl out of the girl. I got her album before I saw the show. So after I, I went in to buy some records and when I was talking to the guy, he says the hottest thing you need to buy is this album, it's a local girl. So I trusted him, bought the album, came down, saw the show, and we're regulars. I live here, and I come here often. In fact, I come here quite a bit, and my wife... I would be jealous. You know, he's in love with her. She's but... vibrant. She is, energy just flows out, and she's so versatile. Oh, it's, uh, she, she puts on a magnificent show. <laughs> I can't imagine how you do this show twice a night, six nights a week, and especially with all the costume changes. How many times did you change tonight? Oh, God. Eight or nine times? More than that, I think. We, we got it to a science. That, that took me a long time. Mm -hmm. I had to sing, change, and pop through the curtain and look like it all just happened by magic. I always wanted to be known for my performance ability. I didn't want to be the faceless uh, dance artist. If you don't pay your dues and you don't learn to be a performer and a writer, you don't know everything about the equipment, if you don't know how to produce your, your songs, you will never have any control over anything. You're just going to be some chick that they say sit there, sing this, wear this, you know, sleep with that guy, and you know, mm -hmm. you're just going to be, you know, basically a, a little slave, you know, to the industry. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,